three races from uh, each of our contestants here. Each win is a point awarded to that racer. And in these challenge matches, those points are a bit weighted. If Ochre could take a, a win off Spooty here, I imagine their, their ranking would shoot up a little bit there. Just be my guess. But here we are in zone one. There's an armor charm, protection charm, if you will. Both racers are gonna grab that and carry on. <laughs> Jack throwing some shade already in chat. Well deserved. Spooty uh, did not get a flawless run. And Oak are gonna match that, taking their own hit. There's tier three wall here. Neither racer opting. Well, there goes Spooty. Blowing it up. It's the pawn shop. Someone had to check it. We had two bombs. There's a locked shop on one, two, with a stack of bombs right next to the blood shop. It's not a great blood shop. A pack of bad with uh, holy water and gold crossbow. I imagine, yeah, Ochre's just going in there for the whole, um, I'm sorry, the blood drum, but we'll take the holy water and backpack along for the ride. And the locked shop is not that great either. But Ochre kills for it. Gets the glass cat, two extra hearts, and heart transplant. Meanwhile, Spooty picked up the gold crossbow. It can work pretty well. You just got to optimize it out. Uh, going to switch back to the dagger. Just kidding. <laughs> Looks like they're going to go for the shopkeep kill too. And Ochre went down, so that's all. That's all Ochre. I'm assuming there was heart transplant shenanigans there. And Spooty just kind of checking out this 1-3, seeing if there's anything else. Yeah, there's a, a barrel here with some cheese. We'll throw that in the uh, infinite pack of bad. <laughs> we'll see if uh, Spooty gets bad packed here. I doubt it, though. Maybe, though. Yeah, throw the book in there, too. Just keep... Okay. <laughs> Ate the cheese. Let's keep throwing stuff in there. Poker back into uh, that blood shop. Get those items again. And Spooty down to 1-3. There's a glass shrine here. We could tap that for glass jar on. Yeah. Looks like we're gonna blow it up for um, the glass armor, which is good. Poker once again breaking their glass, trying to go fast with the heart transplant. And that's like a lot of time wasted for not a lot gained. And here's the heart transplant for Spooty in the uh, core rift fight. Your first boss gets the flawless victory, checking purple for a pulse spell. Welcome, Mins. And Raiders coming from that Aurelia Ekum Ekum match. Just in time for this first race between Ochre and Spooty. Oker does make it into uh, the Coral Rift fight, an easy throw kill with that glass shard. And we'll need to check for a weapon here and he's gonna find glass broadsword. So keeping it glassy here. As we move through zone two. There's the luck charm for Spooty and into the zone two boss death metal. Blood drum kill, could just, yeah, kill with a cat. Pulse, a bunch of different ways we could dispatch death metal there. Check in purple chest, finds a ring of protection. Poker's gonna be trailing behind here through two, three. Lost their glass armor. Imagine they'll be checking black chest if they make it to death metal. Spooty taking a trap door down to 3 2. There's that pulse spell taking out the mini boss right away. I'm like before the first beat. There's a shovel of courage in that shop or in that arena for Spooty. Gonna pass it up. Ochre found a uh, shrine of chance and got some glasses uh, and a glass torch. So, like, five damage broadsword. Gonna switch off to a titanium spear. Three damage spear there. Spooty goes back for uh, the courage shovel. Sh 
Shrine of Pain on 3-3. Three, three. I bet we'll ignore that. Yeah, here's a horizontal blue dragon, though. Spooty's going to lure her down over for a pulse and a cat hit. And Ochre finding an obsidian spear on 3-1, so a bit of an upgrade, and then takes the trapdoor down to 3-2, but Spooty's on your zone 3 boss, Fortissimal. Unholy moly, going to get the flawless victory. There's the shovel pickup for Ochre. And there's a quick scroll. The purple chest. Oh, Ochre taking a teleport there. I don't think it helps too much. But yeah, Spooty with a commanding lead in zone four. Has time to shop if they want to. Actually can't. Oh, tried bombing the... Uh, <laughs> that's a bad tell, monkey. Tried bombing it, but uh, ended up hitting it and teleporting all the way back. <laughs> so essentially doing 4-1 twice. I might give Ochre a chance here, but uh, stepping on hot coals down to half a heart. And Spooty can't go shopping because has wearing the crown of crown of shame there. But Ochre into that fortissimo fight gets the flawless victory. We'll be checking purple chest for that quick scroll. There's an obsidian staff there on 4-3 for Spooty. Yeah, gonna switch off to it. I feel like that's fair, especially after breaking the glass armor. Yeah, no more telemonkeys. <laughs> Just retreating and pulsing that uh, incoming telemonkey there. Hey, there's your teleports by design. Ochre finding a uh, conjurer gonna get a ring of piercing. It's a good addition to the build here. But Kanga's your zone four boss. Spooty entering the door right now. Could Quake scroll here really to make it go real fast? That was a pretty cool teleport. Looks like they're doing uh, Azuma strats. Ocean grab for Ochre are gonna be very happy to find that as they were sitting at half a heart for a while now. And uh, Spooty moving their way through zone five can really just stand on the conduit. Setting up for a pulse on this blue dragon and then cleaning all these enemies up on the conduit. The Ochre just jumping into goblin bombers, trying to scoot a bit faster here. Into the Kanga fight. We're going to see zone 5 for Ochre before Spooty's said and done. You wonder how, like, quicker Ochre could have been here if they didn't faff about with that heart transplant on 1-2. Oh, because uh, Spooty just came down to 5-3 as Ochre's making their way through 5-1. But uh, a bit lost here. Taking a few hits at that, too. And Spooty's going to be into that Fortis uh, Dead Ringer fight first. It's a left side spawn. We're going to quake it, though. It don't really matter where he spawns. Wallace victory into the Necker Dancer fight. Oker did find a free spell along the way in zone five. I would be using that constantly here. Spooty's gonna dig uh, the stage with the blood drum and get that early first hit on Necker Dancer into phase two. Down to a heart and a half, but well in control of this fight. Good lures, dad takes a dunk. Dad takes a few dunks. Dad taking a lot of dunks, <laughs> oh man. But Spooty able to recover as Ochre goes down. And Spooty's going to take the first loot of the match. 924 race time. GG. All right, we'll get right into the next seed. As a reminder, this is a match of three, so we'll see two more races yet. Each win is a point awarded to that victor for uh, the season.
All right, racers are readying up, and here we go. Into race number two. Early red chest on 1-1 one, one and a cracked wall. Oh, it's just a free blood drum. Not bad. Both racers going to open up the crate to find some money. Which they may have wanted to grab. Yeah, there's a uh, conjurer on 1-1. One, one. You really don't want to see conjurers on 1-1. One, one. It, it costs 100 gold to get that first conjurer. And that's like a lot to ask when you're farming just with a dagger. And Spooty's going to skip it. Finds the trap door to get into 1-2. Ochre found the exit on 1-1, one, one, so not going to be too far behind here after this dragon wrangling. Another trapdoor for Spooty, but Ochre's going to find the blood shop. Check it out. Oh, it's all glass. <laughs> um, going to kill for the glass rapier. There's a glass broadsword and a gold warhammer. So early build advantage to Ochre. We just got to make sure that glass stays unbroken and that the black chest the zone one boss is like kind of blood flail or something something bad <laughs> trap door for ochre first one down into deep blues but spooty's gonna farm up a leprechaun there that luck charm uh straight up the middle for ochre gets the flaws victory and we'll be grabbing the purple uh, chest for a heal spell. Spooty with the blood drum throw kill. Uh, I think they have to go for black chest here. Gold crossbow, yeah, that's bad. So chance for Ochre here to push it a little bit ahead. <laughs> Gold crossbow is like pretty dang rare. It's a good job. Oh, but Ochre gets double wind spelled and is going to break that glass. So we're essentially on even ground again. We're even in the same sub room. Yeah, the double wizard there. It's hard to react to that. You could get the glass back with the, the sacrifice shrine, though. We just got to kill the red dragon on it. I think uh, Spooty's trying to kill the enemies on it, but Ochre goes for the, the dragon, gets uh, a glass longsword, and then gets their own uh, leprechaun. Spooty's spending a lot of time to uh, try to get a... I think they need like one or two more yet. They might just go for the dragon here too. But meanwhile, Ochre already taking a trap door down to your zone two boss. It's death metal. It should be a quick kill with the blood drum. Yeah, flawless victory. There's the glass longsword for Spooty. And purple chest holds courage. Oh, that's fast. All right. <laughs> we really can break the glass now. Ochre could pull away of this if they just get good mapping and go to the exits, and that's what they're doing. They find a uh, trap door on 3-1. Finding a bomb along the way. Spooty taking down uh, Death Metal there. Oh, Ochre getting clapped and then Blue Dragoned. <laughs> Trying to go a little fast. And that's going to be a, a sigh of relief for Spooty as we can enact slow play procedures if we want. We'll see if that's gonna happen. I mean, it's hard not to go fast with glass and courage. Yes, we're just gonna switch off to uh, a broadsword here. While he cleans up this zone, let's check out that death from Ochre. It's going a little fast here. Could have... Yeah, that's bad. That was bad. Going fast. Ochre's gonna go back for that uh, last rapier, though. And you can see how uh, Spooty's kind of slowed up here, making sure we're taking out all these enemies separately. Oh, got Clappa there! Pushed into a Clappa. And forced to pop that cursed potion. Got some purple hearts going on. And now has to be kind of careful with that blood drum because every time we use it, we're going to lose health. But imagine, yeah, checking the shop here, hoping to find something. But 
uh, into your zone three boss. That's going to be Coral Rift. I thought he was setting up wrong there for the hit, but forgot there was Courage. Courage is actually really awkward in the Coral Rift fight. Because when you attack the tentacles, you move forward into the water. But Squee's able to hand it, handle it. Let's see what they go for in the chests. Ochre back down that trap door into the death metal fight. Checking purple chest found a ring of charisma and leaving it on the ground. Such disrespect. There's one heart gone for Spooty. Getting parried by that blade master. They don't care how courageous you are. <laughs> And looks like Ochre's taking the same pathing over to uh, in Zone 3. Let's see if they can handle that exit where they had misfortune earlier. There's an arena at the 4-2 or 4-1 exit for Spooty. Minding the Ghoulam here. Make sure we don't cover it up. And yeah, slow play procedures. He's going to check the shop. Let's bring a regen over there too. Yeah, going... Uh, yeah, he can go for that, but... Gonna check the arena first, I guess. Sydney and Longsword, Snowbro. Those for the Longsword. That's pretty good pairing with uh, Courage. There's some Shades for Ochre. Dealing a lot of damage now. Careful though, still on glass. That's a big slide there. And Spooty being courageous on uh, this zone four. Just going straight at the enemies here. And that's something uh, a long sword allows you to do. You can really just kind of jump into a group of enemies and wreak havoc. False victory for Ochre is going to make it into zone four. Hey, Revriel. Yeah, axes are banned and boots of lunging and leaping. Yeah, same as season nine. This is essentially the same as season nine, except uh, halfway through the season, Racers are allowed to challenge for rematches. So if you feel like you had a bad day or something, like, whoa, magic cookies, get bailed. Spooty suddenly had five hearts. <laughs> oh, did Spooty kill for the heavy plate? Yeah, uh, sometimes you want you want that uh that crown. It's real fashionable. And maybe just didn't know, wasn't aware of their money situation. I rarely keep track of where you're at with money. Until it's like you can't buy something and it's like, what? Why can't I buy this? <laughs> but Spooty, uh, taking an easy King Kanga here. Here's zone four boss, cleaning up the Kanga line. And into zone five. Ogre's doing a pretty decent pushback here into four three. Ought to be anyway. Oh. Spoke too soon. Took a hit from an armadillo and broke their weapon. And then got teleported into the shop. <laughs> Where there's that heavy plate and uh, teleports out. <laughs> Gets a gold staff. Oh, and, and is forced to pick up the shard when we go on the stairs. That sucks. <laughs> uh, bummer, ochre. <laughs> I maybe would have just blown that up. Did they not have a bomb? <laughs> Meanwhile, Spooty's dealing with a horizontal blue dragon, setting up a courage. And headed into 5-3. Five, 5-2. Oh uh, yeah, Oak are missing the magic cookies too, yeah. I go in that direction. Does make it to the zone four boss while Spooty's into Dead Ringer. So right side spawn. Easy. Left side scoop. Scoop, 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 scoop. Opting to save the health with the blood drum. That's fair. Poker needs one more hit on Oh the Black Bat! <laughs> oh no. I think Kalaria called that one out in chat. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Rolling bats in a in a boss fight feels bad, man. 
And looks like Spooty's gonna get this Necker Dancer fight done. Just three more hits. And there you have it, Spooty taking the second loot of the matchup. 10-16 race time, 10-05 in game. GG. All right, we'll get the final race going here. The racers are ready. Oak are putting up a pretty decent fight here. Just uh, glass weapons, they, uh, they break. <laughs> it's the kind of the risk you take when you when you run glass. Gotta not get hit. Or know when to swap it out. Alright, countdown's going. And here's race number three between Ochre and Spooty. Purple chest on one one holds a transmute tome. Interesting. If we find that uh ring of becoming. Okay, okay, throwing a throwing a dagger there kind of messed him up with the bat. Uh, is there a blood shop right away on um, one one? Both racers gonna wrangle the dragon over here to open it for free. And there's that obsidian longsword again, plus two cats. Base cat and uh, gold cat with spooty transmutes gets a glass jaw and torch. Gonna do it again and get a helm. And then pick up the longsword. I think if Ochre sees that, which is hard to see when you're fighting a, a blood shopkeeper, um, maybe just keep your tomes. I suppose it doesn't have uh, the blood drum. I think that's the main reason why Spooty was transmuting, because blood drum is pretty valuable. It allows you to use your health as a resource that much more. But Spooty uh, missing out on that map. On one three, taking the trapdoor down into the zone one boss. And Ochre's gonna go for the miner's cap and transmuted the shovels. Okay, I suppose. Had a chance there to find something glorious, but only really got an infer infernal torch. Um, that base shovel is now essentially a level two shovel, I think. Um,. Kanga, your zone one boss. Spooty gets a flawless victory and gets uh, shield tomes for the trouble, but I'm gonna leave him on the floor. Needs one more coin to get that uh, that torch. But now mapping for Spooty. Ochre gonna check the black chest, find Titanium Whip. Um, that was the correct choice by Ochre, seeing uh, the bad tomes. Uh, weapon could have been really, really good, but. Mediocre. Mediocre. Get it, chat? That's the that's the name of the racer. Alright. Uh obsidian <laughs> whip for Spooty. Just gonna grab it real quick and hit around the corner. And then we're gonna get that luck charm. Is that a shrine for Ochre? It's a real shrine. I feel like you take that. Um, you get the reduced aggro, you lose your mapping torch. But, uh, it's gonna move on through to your zone 2 boss. Already done with it. Gets the ring of peace. It's death metal. Spooty just getting into it. Cap and shadow's kind of spooky. Yeah, that's fair. Spooty gets the flaws victory. Also gonna pick up that ring of peace. There's a right rat over on Ochre's side. Took a hit in that mosh pit, down to one heart. And it looks like we're gonna run into another problem here with Ochre going real fast and we'll have to keep track of these swarms. Had a previous death earlier because of that. Monkey paw pickup for Spooty, no monkey teleports this time and getting caught between Push Monster and a beetle. Spooty down to one heart, but there's a food shop. So back to full health, he failed. But Ochre's gonna be in your zone three boss first. It's Fortissimal. Spooty just behind here. 
Oh no, Kerr going in too close there on Fortissimo. You gotta back up. You're gonna get snagged on the fans there. Yeah, that's that seems like a a nerves kind of um, death there. That's a very avoidable death. And now we can enact slow play procedures one more time for Spooty. Working their way through zone four. Looks like they're handling it just fine here. Ochre going down again. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's gonna be it here. Spooty's pretty in control. Especially at this stage. Yeah, that's a fair point, Biggie Mac. Um, and that's 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 something you kind of gotta uh, kind of gotta put out of your mind. And you gotta play your game. You don't want to be playing your opponent's game. I mean, Spooty doesn't push unless he has to either. He's uh. He'll farm up a build, make sure everything's going safe. And uh, speaking of farming up this build, getting uh, some better armor here. Can go right through these traps with those lead boots. Gonna blow up that wall pig, I like that. And down to your zone four boss, that's Deep Blues. Playing three strats. I'm gonna put a blast helm to work there, taking out the queen. And I guess check purple chest for a spell. It's the ring of shielding though, unfortunate. Okay, so here Ochre going back on the miner's cap but picking up the glass shovel, you can really just pick up the obsidian because uh, with even one level up there, it's it's the same as glass, but glass can break, turns out. The Spooty moving on through zone five. One more level here before Dead Ringer. Here we go. Has the blood drum for a quick kill. It's a left side spawn. And yeah, we're gonna use the blood drum. Into that Necker Dancer fight. I uh, can bomb and blood drum again for a quick first hit. Yeah, wait for that, uh, <laughs> that Necker Dancer dunk. I got caught by that earlier today in one of my races. Fortunately had enough health. <laughs> and looks pretty uh, rudimentary fight here. Gets it done, Spooty taking the sweep. Sub eight that time, 7.58 race time. GG's. All right, that's going to be it for that matchup, but we have a few more yet tonight. Let me throw that schedule in chat there. Uh, and I think uh, an hour. I'll be commentating for uh, Encrypted and Speed Frog. And then after that, Encalagor versus Speed Frog. But in the meantime, I'm going to send you guys over to Minz, who's commentating Ribbon Graph Sailor Mint.